Hey guys, so today is Wednesday the 11th of November and I'm on my way to our pre-settlement inspection. I'm going to meet Matthew there because he's at work today. So if everything goes well with this inspection, we're either going to do our settlement this afternoon or tomorrow morning. So I'm so excited. In the matter of less than 24 hours, I'm officially going to be a homeowner. So I'm so excited as long as everything goes how it's supposed to go. So anyways, I will update you about everything when I finish the inspection. Talk See you later. Bye. Hey guys, so I just got home from the house inspection. Everything is perfect, all the repairs are done. It's clean, it's tidy, so I'm so excited. Matthew and I have agreed to the settlement, so we're going to be doing the settlement today. So in the matter of a few hours, we should either get a call, a text message, or an email or something, just to let us know when we can pick up the keys from the real estate agent. So I'm so excited. In the matter of hours, I'm officially going to be a homeowner. I know technically our house belongs to the bank, because because we have a mortgage and we're going to be paying off the loan but I'm so excited that we're going to be putting money towards our mortgage not paying someone else's mortgage in rent and everything and we can do what we want to our house we don't need permission and everything I'm just so excited I have been dreaming about this day ever since I was 14 years old I've been saving money since I had my first job at Red Rooster after that I used to work at EB Games and then I was a stay-at-home mum for a little while and then I've been a nurse for the last five years so I've been saving for quite some time ever since I was 14 years old and I'm just so excited 14 years later officially my dream is coming true of owning a house yes my first dream was having kids and my second goal in life was owning a house so I'm so excited and I get to do it with my best friend my fiance Matthew so the love of my life and everything is finally working out how it should be yes we haven't got married yet that is our next goal but up until then I've got two out of three things done so a house and kids but you never know I would love to have one more baby but Matthew did say stop at two so we'll see how that goes and yeah the next plan is also saving up for a wedding we did plan on going overseas to like Fiji and doing a wedding on an island or something like that that was the goal for next year but We'll have to see how things go because of COVID we can't travel and I don't want to book anything in in case something happens and then because of COVID another round of it and then we can't travel. So that might be pushed off another couple of years but a wedding is in the plan and also maybe if I can talk Matthew into a fourth child. So that is our plans for the next five years or so. So um, hopefully everything works out. I'm just so excited that officially I'm going to be a homeowner. So that's one good thing that's happened in 2020. I'm so excited. So anyways, I will talk to you when we go pick up the keys and go to our new house. And I can't wait to tell Jacob and Isaac we've got our keys and we're officially homeowners. Anyways, I will talk to you later. Bye. We have a special present for you guys. Yeah. Are you ready to open it? Yep. Here you go. But you don't know what it is. What is it, Isaac? Keys to the house. Yeah. Are you ready? Do you want to go to the new house? Yeah. Do you want to go to the new house, Isaac? What? What do you want to bring to the new house? IPad. Your iPad. Do you want to bring your bike? Are you going to bring all your Avenger toys as well? Here's some new genie poops. I don't know what they genie are. Genie poops? Yeah. What's in there? Like genie poops. And there's salt. Garlic salt. Matthew's going to love that. That smells really nice actually. Mm. I've wanted one of these for ages. What is it? It's mm. like the little salt. You grate the salt up into the thing. This is mine, by the way. This is toffee popcorn brittle. That will be nice. I reckon Dad would love no that. No one else is touching my salt here, though. Um, that's mine. It's this cute. This is mine. Get out of here. What's that one, Isa? Popcorn. popcorn. Honey coated popcorn. So it's very sweet popcorn. So what else is in here? Damn. This is that's extra dramatic. virgin olive oil. So that's for the crackers. Where's the crackers that was in that's there? That's the cookies. The kangaroo island one. No, it's oh, not. Oh, they're next to you there. Open this. Oh, Caleb's hidden. I want to open this. That's for the crackers. You put some olive oil on it and you eat it. Ooh. 
So that's cool. And what else is in there? Truffle paste. These are almonds. Maple coconut almonds. And These are all like luxury item kind of things. That's true. Truffle paste. Rock salt with a grater. The Himalayan salt. What was that one? The black one? <coughs> the truffle. And special garlic salt. I think Dad's going to put that on everything. That smells really nice. Okay, are you ready to go to the new house and stare at it for a couple of hours? Yep. Stare at it. We can move in now. But I just want to look at the house because it's See? ours. Jacob and yeah. Isaac, guess what? We're not tenants anymore. We're homeowners. Do you want to be a homeowner, Isaac? I want to be tenant. Oh. You want to be a tenant? In the house. You okay, be a, fine. You can be my tenant. You want to be a tenant or you want to be a tenno? I want to be a tenant in the new house. Okay, you can but be a tenant. But we need to help tenno. Why are you being mean to him? I'm not. Okay, you can, be, go, go. you can be a tenant in our new home, okay? That means I'm going to do monthly inspections in your room and if it's not clean, Mama Dash is going to move into your room. Okay? You realize it's all magnets. What's magnets? Move your hand, Jake. Oh, that's cool. Here's a magnet. I can oh, yeah. see the magnet. Also, tape okay, are you ready to go to the new house? Get your shoes yep. on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I can't forget his popcorn. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, so Matthew and I are officially homeowners. We're so excited. So I thought I'll do an empty house tour and show you around. So let's get started. So this is the front of our property. It's fully fenced off and fully concreted, so it'll be perfect for the dogs. We also got two tool sheds over there as well. And we've got some stairs that lead up to our main property. And then here's the front door. Just gonna shut the door. So when you enter, this is what you see. So on the left is a bedroom. So this is bedroom number one. It's got a fan as well, a window, a built-in wardrobe. And there's me as well. And that's what it looks like. They're both the same thing on each of the sides. There's some drawers and places to hang up the clothes. And then there's one that's in the middle here as well. And then it's exactly the same thing on the other side. All the bedrooms have the same built-in. And it is carpeted, but we'll probably end up getting rid of the carport, the carpet at some point. So bedroom number two, it's basically the same thing inside the wardrobe. A nice big window. Carpets as well, and it's got a ceiling fan as well. And then next is the bathroom. I love the shower. We don't have a bathtub, but that's fine. Toilet and the sink and everything. And a really big, nice mirror. And then bedroom number three. So they're all basically the same thing. Another fan, another wardrobe, a nice big window. And that's the third bedroom. I'm not too sure what these little holes are for. So if you have any idea what it's for, I would love to know. But I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being used as a dog hole for the dogs to go through or the kids because when Caleb seen it and Jacob and Isaac, they just constantly keep going through the hole. And I really love the timber floors. It's something very different that I haven't really seen. I love that recycled look, like the olden look. Then we've got a linen cupboard. So that's what it looks like. 
We've got to change some of the door handles and things like that. Then just an empty cupboard so we can put all our towels and bed sheets and everything. And then this is, if I can get it to focus, this is going to be our living area. So it's already got a warm out where the TV should be. And look at the lights. I have never seen a house with lights like this, but it's kind of different and I don't know why I really like it. And then this area is supposed to be the dining area. This light is very odd as well, but I really like it. I don't know why, but it's just in a very odd place in the middle, like in the back corner. So unless it used to be like a little study area where they had a table or something like that. And then this is the kitchen. I love the look of the kitchen. So that's what that looks like. It's got plenty of drawers and spaces to put everything in. And the sink looks really cute as well. We've got a stove and an oven, also a dishwasher. And one thing I really love about the kitchen is these corner cupboards. You would think it's wasted space but it's got this really cool thing in here that rotates where you can put all your dishes or pots and pans and then as you get everything out you can just rotate it if you can't reach it so that's pretty cool it's actually got two of them one on each side apparently the owner the previous owner has redid the kitchen did all the renovations recently so I'm assuming that's where you put the microwave and then big huge pantry spaces, heaps of space in the kitchen. And I'm assuming we're supposed to put our fridge here. So this is what this space looks like. So just an overview of what it looks like. And then we're going into the backyard. So it's got a nice veranda decking out here. So we'll start off on this side. This is our laundry area. So we've got a clothesline. And a laundry with an extra toilet as well. So that's what that looks like. I'm assuming one of my neighbors has decided they needed to cut the grass as soon as I started filming. <laughs> and then this is part of our backyard as well. I know it looks really tiny, but it's not actually that tiny. Our whole property is 772 square meters, so that's really big. So it's perfect size for our family and our dogs and our kids and everything. So we've got some grass over here and then we can open these gates up. We actually got this put in so we can keep the dogs on the other side when we're at work so they can't dig underneath the fences. There are a few fences down there that are quite low and we're just worried about Melina being able to jump over it and then ending up on the road. So we thought we'll keep them on that side when I'm at work and then they can come into the backyard when we're at home. I only work part time so it's not like they're going to be out there for ages. Plus we've got a lot of shelter and a tool shed and everything. So it should be nice and cool for him. So we got this gate put in. I can show you outside our front. So it's pretty big space if you look at it. So they've got all this section and then all around the house as well. So there's heaps of space for him. And then in this corner over here, we've got a cubby house. Matthew and Jacob, it's probably going to be one of their projects to redo all this. But it's kind of cute that they have something to do as well, like their own DIY project. So it's just like a little cubby house kind of thing or a dog house. The tenants were using it as a dog house. And it's also got some power in here, but we don't know if it's working or not. So we'll have to double check, but it's good once we get it all done and fix all the fences underneath so they can't dig. And then the dogs could be out here as well. 
and it's gated off in case we have anyone coming to do any of the work around the house that we can lock them in here or in the front so they can work on different sections of the house so there's a little garden. Matthew um, isn't really into gardening. I really love gardening. I couldn't wait till we had our own house so I could do a little garden. My mom's been growing a mango tree for us because she's got mangoes at her house. Um, so she's grabbed one of the seeds and she's been growing that for the last couple of years for us so we could probably put that in. I want to get rid of this weird plant over here. I don't know what it is but I want to get rid of it and then make a little garden down here and over here. And then we've got some little hedging kind of plants, the lily pilly. So we might just end up planting it over here and getting rid of all these rocks. The few steps. So that is not our whole property. I'm still going. So we have a retreat. So it's like an extra bedroom. It's really massive. I think it's like seven meters or something like that. Seven to eight meters. Apparently the boys want to make it into a games room or something and I can use it for filming as well So that's what that looks like And a little kind of area as well that's undercover over here Maybe we can make it into like a little barbecue area down this way. That's not undercover we would love to get something built like over here to cover it and we can maybe like put outdoor seating and things like that out here and if you thought that was the end of our property we're still going so over here we can close this um, door off and everything so this would be our property and then we've also got a granny flat so I'll show you the granny flat in a second so we've also got a second driveway to the main, sorry, behind our house. We've got a second entrance over here. So this is a more quieter street so we can park in here and open the gates and bring the cars in. So that's pretty cool and about two cars should fit in this space. So that will be perfect for Matthew and I. And then we've got a long driveway and then the kids can also play without worrying about a car hitting them or anything because our property is pretty big so they'll be able to play in the front um, concreted area as well and plus the backyard and everything so I'll show you around the granny flat so it's got the same flooring as the inside of the house it's got air conditioning as well it's got a very odd ceiling I would love to get it white later on it's just very odd and then it's got a little kitchenette over here as well and then a laundry slash bathroom and it's got its own um, electricity and everything so we can do that later on fix this all up and probably rent it out to someone at least there'll be a bit of extra income going towards our mortgage Apparently the boys also wanted to make this into their, um, their games room instead of the retreat but I would rather rent it out and get a bit more extra income to help us with our mortgage in case we ever struggle. So um, that's the cubby house slash dog house that I showed you earlier. So this is basically our whole property. Let me know what you think. Matthew and I fell in love with this property. I know it's not perfect. I know there's a lot of things we need to fix but we can slowly save up and do it all in the next five years or so. We've got lots of plans and potential for this house and um, yeah this is our house. I'm so excited so we're going to start finishing the cleaning up in the house and then bringing all our things. We just got pest control done so you might notice a bit of liquid around everywhere so they just did the pest control. We've got to wait for it all to dry and then take all our things out so this is our home I'm so excited that I can finally show you our home I'm so excited now we're gonna go bring the dogs and see what they think of our new home so anyways I will talk to you later bye